Hello everyone, this is Recorder Diesel, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3, the blind version. Alright, so last time we left off, uh, we completed uh, two uh, we completed two levels, the uh, fortress, which was a really cool fortress. I really love the secret as well, too, I was able to find. That was actually lots of fun. Alright, so like I said, this episode might be a really short episode, because all we got is just uh, level 6 and the castle, so depending on how I do on these two levels, this might be another short one, like episode 2, but I think that's okay. We had a couple of somewhat long episodes, I think we could do with a really short one. But again, it just depends on how well I do, but let's stop the jibber-jabbing and get started on level 6. And I'm small Mario, and we're still big. Alrighty. So I'm guessing this whole thing is just one huge island. It's not actually like, you know, the one in, uh, soup. It's not like the one in, uh, Super Mario 64 where you can- Where you can switch between, uh, big level and- Whoop! I kinda had that coming. Uh, it's not uh, it's not like, you know, um, Super Mario 64 where you can switch between big and little, so... Oh well. But, again, I- I do know what this is, cause like I said, I've seen it again and again, Super Mario 64, so... I somewhat expect- I somewhat kinda know, like, what to expect here. Oop. Okay. What do we got here? Mushroom. Okay. Yep. Actually, I just realized there was also a door there too. Uh, I'm not gonna chance it. Yeah, I got, I, I got, I got plenty of lives, so I'm not gonna. Oop. Am I I, okay, I was gonna say, please tell me I'm not stuck. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm not- yeah, I got plenty of 1-ups and everything, so I'm not gonna worry too much about points or anything like that. Oh, shoot. I just saw that coming. Okay. Um, uh, actually, what are these doors for anyway? I'm kinda curious. Let's, let's check out these doors real quick. Alright, well, at least I didn't get hit there. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, so you actually can switch between big and little. Yeah, that's neat. Alright, well, the downside of that is, like, you're not, I don't think you're not gonna be able to get some, um, uh, mushroom sand, because, yeah, I just, there was supposed to be a mushroom in that block. Alright, so I guess it just depends on, like, you know, uh, do you want, oop, uh, do you want the mushroom, or do you want to try to get a one-up? So, alright, I'm actually gonna try to get that one-up if I can. Uh, what do I have? I guess I could use a mushroom, why not? Alright, let's go. Let's try again. Yeah, so that's actually neat. Now, I wonder if there was actually something in that, uh, block then. The, well, I killed- well, at least I killed the piranha, so... I'll take that, at least. Alright. Actually, what's over here, then? Well, death, for one thing. Oh, star. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna get that now. Oh well. Yeah, so this is actually pretty neat. I'm sorry I'm not offering too much commentary, but... Like I said, I pretty much said everything I needed to about, um... Actually, let me get that. I pretty much said everything I needed to say about, you know, uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 so far. And so far from what I've seen on the blind aspect, it's actually, you know, uh, it's actually it's a fun game. I am starting to see why, you know, a lot of people really lo uh, love this game growing up. Like, uh, like I said, especially with the fortress, there was like, uh, there was like a, that one cool secret that was actually, that was actually really neat. And I'm actually glad I found, like, so at least they're, so at least they still kept something from the traditional Mario where, you know, whoop. They allow you to explore and think, you know, like, okay, what happens if I go over here and such, like, what will happen? Alright, I gotta start. Alright, well, let's see how I do on the airship, and, uh, let's see how short this episode is going to be. I do know, um, I have heard, uh, after this, the later worlds are gonna get a little tough. I, like, I think I've heard, like, uh, the Sky World, which is the next one from what I've heard, is gonna be the tough one. And there's, ooh, a Tanuki suit, I'll gladly take that. Uh, there is, and then there is one in level, um, in World 7, which is also gonna be pretty tough. Uh, which one can I use? Uh, I guess I'll take a, I guess I'll take a Fire Flower for now, just to see what's over here, so, alright, let's save state and go in. 
and he is a cute little dinosaur. Actually, it looks like it looks like one of those stuffed animals you get from a crane game. Actually, it almost kind of looked like a baby orange Godzilla. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, which Koopalino are we fighting today? I think I did this airship too. Again, I don't remember. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, wait, I think I have done this one. I think this is one of those where you really gotta use the spinny thing. Okay, so it shoots fire. That's good. Okay, just gotta wait. Just gotta wait a little patiently. And the coins are—they're really oval in this one. Like it looks like they've been squished. Okay. Uh, actually, I guess we'll go over here. I uh, just gotta be real careful. I don't know. I don't actually know if I need this or not. Whoop. Nah. Oh, well, I hope I don't need it. Okay, so no bullet bills, just fire. I think I... Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I think I do need it, but no, I don't really need it. Alrighty. Oh, the Monty Moles are back. Oof. How is your ass not burning, Mario? I need to know. Alright, okay, so this is where the bullet bill is. Oop. Slowest moving airship ever. Well, there you go, I've never been on too many airships, so I can't really say which ones I've seen that are really fast. That was my own fault. Alrighty, uh, that, that, again, that was my own fault, I'll admit it. Alright, so I guess I don't really need a fire flower then. Alright, chasing time. And I, 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 I might cut it, you never know. But, well, like I said, it just depends on, like, you know, how fast or, um, like, how long this episode is, really. I still got 60 lives, too, so... As long, uh, so as long as it's not gonna be a repeat of what it was in, uh, Airship 3, then I think we'll be okay. So it looks like I don't need it, so that's good. The only thing I just gotta keep in mind is just timing myself with these um, uh, fi with these uh, fire things. I know what they are called, but I just can't think of it off the top of my head right now. So this is like, yeah, this has gotta be like, you know, the... I guess I could say maybe like the brokest airship I've seen so far. Cause all of them looks like it was really put together. This one just looks like it's really falling apart or something like that. Alright, I think there might I think this might be a mushroom, so let me at least take that for insurance. Ooh, whoop. Okay. Guess we'll go over here. Take our time with this. Don't be too impatient. I say take my time, and I'm just, I'm going over there like I know like what's up ahead. Yeah, I still haven't seen too many bullet bills yet. Okay. Yeah, this is yeah, this is like the really brokest airship I've really seen. The eh, I had that coming. Oh. I had that coming too. Eh, uh, should have known better. Alrighty. Doke. Again, how are you not burnt? How are you not? How are you not at least melting from this? I mean, your has to at least be on fire right now. Really? 
really, yeah, this really is all about timing, is what this is. Question block. Yeah. Alrighty. Alright, let's go fight out this uh, Koopaline. Who do we got? Uh, that's Iggy. I recognize, I recognize those Steve Urkel glasses anywhere. Flip. Ah, whatever. Take the hit. You're dead, nerd. Which is a shame, too, because blue's my favorite color. <laughs> Alrighty, well, World 4 in only about 12 minutes, so I. Don't think I might do too much editing around here. Alrighty, well, World 4 done, and we're actually halfway through the game here, folks. Just four more worlds to go. Alrighty, so what do we got? So which game we got this time? A sort of looking Arabian dog prince. Alrighty. And what does Peach have for us this time? Oh, I'm sorry, Toadstool, not Peach. Must have been weird for people who, like, uh, grew up before Super Mario 64 to now have to say, uh, Peach instead of Toadstool. Again, for the Americas, because I know in Japan she was always called Peach. Uh, the thief who stole the whistle has escaped to the east side of the sand dunes. Uh, I'm assuming she's talking about World 2. Alright, we got another P-Wing. Alrighty. Alright, so here we are, World 5. Uh, let me listen to music, too. It actually sounds nice. Alright, so uh, next time when we uh, come back, we are going to be doing uh, World 5. And it looks like we have four levels this time, just like last time. So how will World 5 do for us? I don't know, because like I said, this is supposed to be the Sky World. And I've heard that this, along with World 7, is one of the toughest worlds so far um, in this uh, game. So I'm actually really curious to see how this is going to go. But until then, this is Sakura Tizo saying thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the episode, don't forget to hit the like button. If you guys want to see more episodes of Super Mario Bros. 3 or any of your other favorite games, hit that subscribe button as well. And yes, like I said, okay, so this is the world I've actually never played, so I have no idea what's going to be in store for me. So, the, but be prepared for me dying a lot and losing lots of lives, which again, I think I'm going to need that one-up trick a lot, so... Anyway, alright, so till then, this is Cordy just saying thank you all so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time while we take on uh, World 5. I'm so really curious and interested to see how this is going to go for me, so take care, guys. <laughs>